Okay, so we have a multitude of voices coming at us all the time. So how can we know God's voice? I believe three things are required of those who would hear the voice of the Lord. First, an unshakable confidence that God wants to speak to you. He wants you to know his voice so that he, you, so that you and I can do his will. What God tells us will never go beyond the boundaries of scripture. In other words, he will never put more on us than we could bear. Second, quality time and quietness is required. We need to be willing to shut ourselves in with God and let all other voices be silent. Third, we must act in faith. We do not obtain anything from God, including hearing his voice, unless we truly believe that he is able to convey his mind to us. He is willing to convey his mind to us, and we ask him to do so. You know, Jesus said that if a son asks for bread from any father among you, Will he give him a stone? <laughs> Jesus was pointing out, what father gives a son worthless or destructive things when basic needs are requested? No good earthly father would. God is our heavenly father. If you ask your heavenly father, if you ask him for a word, if you ask him to let his voice be known to you, do you think for a moment that he would give you a rock of silence? Or he would let the devil just have his way with you because he doesn't give you instructions on how to overcome and defeat? John 10, 27 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Hearing the voice of God is not as difficult as some may think. I've found that many of God's people hear him, but they do not perceive it's his voice. To perceive means to take hold of, feel, comprehend, grasp mentally, to recognize, observe, or become aware of something. We must learn how to perceive God's voice and the prompting of the Holy Spirit. 